First up, Jake Long to the Dolphins. Long was great out of the gate, but he caught the injury bug in his later years. Rams took Chris Long second. He's had a very solid career. Maybe not number two pick kind of career, but who's going to complain about back-to-back Super Bowl wins? Third up, the Falcons. Ryan throws deep in the end zone. Touchdown! Don't need to say much. Matt Ryan would go first if Miami had to do it all over again. Fourth, Darren McFadden to Oakland. Had a few good years, but never quite lived up to the expectations. In the five hole, Glenn Dorsey to the Chiefs. Like Long, solid career as a defensive tackle, just not a headliner type of career. Six, the Jets, Vernon Golston, the first miss in the 2008 draft and considered one of the bigger draft busts in history. At seven, the Saints took Cedric Ellis. Good pick, he just decided not to play anymore after five seasons. Started every game he did play in, though, and helped New Orleans to a Super Bowl win. The Ocho, Derek Harvey to the Jags. They traded four picks to move up for him, and that's one pick for each year he played in the league. Ouch. Nine, Keith Rivers to the Bengals. Rivers ended up being a journeyman linebacker playing for three different teams. Rounding out the top ten, Gerard Mayo to the Patriots. A Belichick favorite, Mayo was a force at linebacker for New England his entire career when he was healthy. At 11, Leotis McKelvin to the Bills. He started out hot, making the all-rookie team, cooled off a bit, but was still a solid corner and returner for most of his career. 12, Broncos took Ryan Clady. Clady was one of the better left tackles in the game for most of his career. 13th, Jonathan Stewart to the Panthers. Jonathan Stewart, 60 yards. Good back, just never the featured back, even though he is Carolina's all-time leading rusher. 14, Chris Williams to Chicago. Never quite lived up to his potential, only lasted five years with the Bears before being cut. 15, the Chiefs took Brandon Albert, also a tackle, but in his case, he did live up to the billing, making a couple of Pro Bowls. At 16, Dominique Rogers cromartie to the Cards. Good pick, 30 career picks, six that he took back to the house to go along with a couple of Pro Bowl appearances. At 17, Gosder Sherilis, one of those guys you kind of forget about, but he did have a solid NFL career as a tackle. 18, Joe Flacco to the Ravens. Flacco again, rolling right, fires caught, touchdown! Had that one magical run that netted him a Super Bowl trophy, and he is 10-5 in the playoffs. At 19, the Panthers' second pick, tackle Jeff Oda. Started every game he played in, but his career was cut short by a knee injury, lasted only four seasons. At 20, a keep to leave to the Bucks. He's gotten better with age, really coming on strong after he moved to Denver. 21st pick, Sam Baker to the Falcons. Atlanta traded three picks to move up to get him. He's been good, but back injuries have hampered his career. 22, Felix Jones to the Cowboys. Had fumble issues and maybe even more importantly, struggled to stay healthy. 23, Richard Mendenhall, Steelers. Seemed like he was on the verge of big things at times, but was never quite the same after tearing his ACL. 24, Chris Johnson, Titans, one of the biggest steals of the draft. CJ2K broke the official 40 combine record and then went on to rush for more than 2,000 yards in his second year. 25th, and Dallas' second first-rounder, Mike Jenkins. Above average corner for a few years, even making the Pro Bowl once. 26th, Dwayne Brown to the Texans. Another steal, Brown has been one of the better tackles in the NFL, just got traded to Seattle last year. At 27, the Chargers took cornerback Antoine Quezon. A few solid seasons ended up bouncing around a bit, playing for four different teams. 28th, Lawrence Jackson to Seattle. Failed to really catch on, only played a couple of seasons with the Hawks before they shipped the DN to Detroit. 29, Kentuan Balmer to the Niners. Played the same position as Jackson and had the same type of career, only five seasons and just 24 starts. At 30, the Jets took tight end Dustin Keller. Really a great pick, but his career was ended after a gruesome knee injury. And with the final pick, the Giants took safety Kenny Phillips. Can't complain, he was the starter when the G-Men upset the Patriots in Super Bowl 46.